right, we'll get the door shut and we'll be set to go. All right, welcome to our fourth and final press conference here at the Big East Women's Basketball Tournament presented by Jeep here on this quarterfinal uh, Sunday here in the Big East. St. John's, a 56-40 winner over the Villanova Wildcats, 20th victory of the season for St. John's. We have a rematch tomorrow in the semifinals uh, between DePaul and St. John's. Of course, we had that uh, semifinal last year, won by the Red Storm. Uh, the defense, stout today for St. John's, holding Villanova to a season low 40 points. Ninth opponent held to 50 points or less this season and a career night for Aaliyah Lewis, 27 points on 11 of 17 shooting from the floor. So we have Aaliyah Lewis and Coach Joe Tartamella with us right now. We'll take a opening statement from head coach and then we will open it up to questions for Aaliyah. So coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Yeah, really, really uh, proud of our effort tonight. This has been a uh, elephant in the room for about five games for us and Villanova's kind of beat us up a little bit in, in the last five. So uh, really just proud of, of how we were able to take control of the game probably after the first possession of the game that they had. Um, and, you know, coming into half tied, uh, we felt pretty good about how we guarded, and we felt if we could produce that same effort in the second half, we felt we could score at a, at a higher rate than we did. Um, obviously having Akina out with foul trouble. Um, and then Aaliyah Lewis was, uh, was as good as she's, she's been and couldn't happen to a better player or a better kid. And, and so we know how special she is, and, and she showed it tonight against, a, a, obviously, a very well-coached team. And, um, you know, I thought we won a lot of the areas we needed to. We came in a, with a deficit on the glass. We were able to finish that on the plus side. They had more second-chance points. They had zero in the second half. Uh, we did a lot of things that um, we tried to prepare for, and um, we saw a lot of engagement from everybody on our team. So really pleased with the effort. Now we got to get ready uh, quickly, obviously, as we turn for – uh, tomorrow against the Paul. Right, Thanks very much. Uh, we have a wireless mic around, so if you want to ask a question uh, for Aaliyah, please raise your hand. And if you could just state your name and media affiliation, that'd be great. Baras Kevaksenofontos for WRD TV. Aaliyah, coming into this tournament as defending champions of last year, do you guys have the same mindset coming into this tournament? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'll say we have the same mindset. You know, we're, we're kind of in the same predicament as last year, you know, three games in uh, three days. So we're just taking each game day by day, and we already got one down, and we're, and we're on to the next. Uh, John Fanta, Biggie Digital Network. Aaliyah, what would you say was the key to you being able to score the ball so well tonight? Uh, I sat down and watched film with Coach, and he told me that uh, to push the ball in transition. And uh, I executed the game plan, and I think that was my strength tonight. Uh, and then th this game's tied at 23. Coach said it. You felt pretty good. What shifted, though, for you guys to really separate yourselves? I would say our energy, and also we stayed together together the whole time. And we just told each other, uh, we know they're going to make shots, but we got to keep our head up and stay mentally focused. And we just uh, executed the game plan on the defensive end, and we got out and scored. And I got us this win today. Was that elephant in the room on you guys, your players' minds going into this that – you, know, you didn't want to see your season end to the team that you've had trouble mm -hmm. beating? True. Uh, I think it's probably been four or five games. Yeah, we consistently kept losing to them. And now we're in the tournament. We got This is the opponent that we wanted to uh, face again against. And we got them today, and we played really well. And I'm happy for my team. That defensive identity that this team has, how much could that matter uh, in a game like tomorrow against such a high-powered attack in DePaul? Uh, yeah, we know uh, DePaul, they're, DePaul, they're a, good, a great offensive team, and we're a great defensive team. So we're all going to lock in tonight, watch a little bit of film, and we're going to be ready. Okay. Anything else? Thank you, John. Zach Mahabir with WRD-TV and WSJU Radio. Um, you know, obviously tonight you were awarded your trophy for Defensive Player of the Year in the Big East Conference, and you were able to come out and provide some amazing defense, a couple of steals, you know, a transition and one right off of one of the steals earlier in the game. Can you elaborate for us a bit how you were able to really lock down on Villanova and take advantage and provide some amazing defense? Oh, I was just using my strength, you know, I'm, I'm quicker than everybody, you know, just get on transition. I'm smaller than everyone. They're going to try to bully me inside, you know, posting me up. Just stay in front and just be physical right back with them and stay focused the whole time. And 
that's it. Just play my game. Thank you very much, Ms. Lewis. No problem. Any other questions for Leah? Oh, great. Uh, Aaliyah, thank you very much. You can head back to the locker room. We'll have thank an you. escort take you down there, and we'll let her get out, and we'll take some coaches' uh, questions for coach. <coughs> some coaches for coach. Okay, good. Guess not. All right. Questions? Coach Charmella, Zachary Mojavir. Um Just take us into what the overall game plan was. Obviously, you were very successful, 16-point win, but – what did you see from this game that you're going to be able to take over tomorrow to DePaul, and what really worked for you guys best? I mean, Villanova is such a unique team in how they play, but so is DePaul. Uh, Creighton plays in a similar fashion. Um, but, you know, I think the takeaway for us is just our ability to um, prepare for a game, um, execute that game plan, and, and then play as a group and, and really play that the 40 minutes. Uh, you know, the goal was – you know, to win every five, obviously, and, and win every ten minutes as you go through. We didn't do that in the second. Uh, however, we did it three out of four. And and for us, finishing the third and the fourth, and the third quarter kind of tells it all at 21-6, to six, where you can kind of take a stranglehold of the game. But, um, you know, I, I I think the the way we're able to guard, you know, was didn't – or I thought affected us in a positive way, where in the past it's affected us in a negative way. And so sometimes we would let a play on one end affect us on the other end. And tonight we didn't do that. And, and, and that's a big thing is, is next play, especially in postseason, it's, it's huge because you got to get over the play before. And so I thought we did a really good job. I thought Jade, and I talked with Jade for a while about how we wanted to play her in this game. And I thought she really bought into it. And her numbers may not look the same, but what she provided us was really important for us to win, and we're going to need that moving forward as well. But, um, you know, just really pleased. I mean, people forget we lose Imani, you know, the last eight games of the year, a kid who was playing the best she's played. Um, gives us a lot of versatility defensively, so we're trying to figure that out. Um, and Maya's done an unbelievable job, you know, stepping in, and, and we knew she was that good. Um, but I think tonight's about Aaliyah. I mean, tonight really was her day. It was her night, you know, and we need that from her. That, that's what she can do. But it's not about one player. You know, I think we take away here that when, when we really dig in and play as a group, you know, that we can accomplish things that they may not even think were possible, and that's the beauty of, of any game. Um, so, I, you know, I, I'm just pleased that they were able to get over that, that hump of being able to beat this team. Hey, Coach Megan, Megan O'Brien, Big East Digital Network. Um, Aliyah has been the floor general, really the heart and soul of this team, but a lot of times you see her dishing out assists, but today she was able to shoot from range. How much does that impact the momentum of this team offensively when she's knocking down shots from range? I mean, it I, I think everybody's game plan is for her to shoot it, so it changes a lot of people's thought process through the game. So when she can do that, it's kind of put the hands up in the air and, and tip your hat sometimes. But... You know, I think when she's making shots, <coughs> excuse me, it changes the complexion of our team because now you don't just have maybe uh, one or two guys that can flick it on you, uh, but her game just then expands because now <coughs> if you have to respect the outside shot, she can go by you. Um, and, and really, I think, you know, for her, she's worked on this. She's worked on it her whole career. I mean, it hasn't been probably as consistent as she'd like it to be, but um, the lights were on tonight and the pressure was on tonight. And, and these are the kids that play for us, and, and they want to be in these moments, um, and they're going to have more, you know. But uh, the beauty of it is to watch them. <coughs> Damn. Excuse me. <coughs> the beauty of it is to watch. I wasn't like going to cry or anything, but <coughs> the, yeah, the beauty of it was to watch them really play well. All right, so um, really, really happy for. Her. What kind of legacy does she leave on this program? I, I think when you, you, I think. People look at her and they marvel. Like, oh, I, I love that kid. I love. They don't watch her every day. That kid has practiced every single day she's been here. She does not take a day off. She practices as hard as you watch her play out there. I think she, I think she uh, squats three times her weight. Like benches like twice her weight. She's a freak. I mean, she really is. I mean, but and, and that's her like just at a normal day, you know. And, and so I, I marvel at what she does on a daily basis. And. I'm really proud of how she's grown from a leadership standpoint because she's not an uh, overly vocal person. And especially, as, I mean, she started her first 10 games as a freshman, and then I sat her. 
because I had Eugenia McPherson who came off an ACL that year. And she was a fifth year senior and we plugged her in and, and Aaliyah had to go from starting 10 games to then coming off the bench on a team that played in the final of the, of the Big East Championship that year and played in the uh, tournament and went to the second round. And so I knew at that moment that we had a pretty special kid, but I knew when I watched her at Bishop Ford High School, she would take a ferry and a bus two hours each way to get to high school. I mean, what kid does that? Kid from New York. But I mean, like, kids do that. And, and so you knew you had something there. And I, I mean, I'll, I'll miss her more than she'll ever know. But she, she was, her legacy will be one that, uh, it's one for the little guys, I guess, as, the, as like the, uh, as, as you would say. But, you know, people like, you know, thank for, thanks for taking, people tell me, thanks for taking a chance on a kid who's small. Like, ran, people who have, have kids who are smaller. Like, parents who just watch. Um, so people look up to her that she doesn't even know. And so, you know, I'm really happy for her. And, but I know she wants more. She doesn't just want it to be about her. She wants it to be about winning. And, and that's been the biggest thing in our program over years is, is, to, is to make sure it's about the group and not one player and, and, and be able to win these types of games. we got time for one more second row here. Coach Barasca Vaxano Fontos, congratulations on tonight's win. Seeing how tonight's starting five played against Villanova after struggling this season in the reg, um, are you going to use the same starting lineup tomorrow or are you going to change it up a little bit? Wow. Um, well, then we'll keep them guessing. I mean, I've started the same lineup every game. So, outside of, you know, Maya stepped in for Imani. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I think they'll probably know what we're going to do. Um, but, no, I mean, I've been pleased with our group who started the games. I mean, we've had Maya step in for Imani. Uh, you know, so you've you got to be able to adjust on the fly. I thought we did a good job of that today because lineups, again, playing bigger, playing smaller. DePaul can give you mismatches. They're gonna. They're, I mean, I, I would expect the tempo to be pretty high octane. Um, plus, they had uh, the ability to rest some players today in that in their, in their game. Um, but you know, it's this time of year. You know, this is what it's all about. This is why you prepare. You know, when you you, you really in July. Um, and, and no, I, like I, I don't. Again, you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the year. But the the guys that don't play as much, and and, and really for me from the beginning to the end. They were as engaged as they've ever been in a game for 40 minutes, and and so that that to me was was really, you know, pleasing to be able to see, especially when they had an opportunity to maybe get in for a couple of minutes. But um, you know, we have players on on our team now that may have played limited minutes that have to do some big things tomorrow. Um, so so we'll see. But you know, I would expect us to. I think we're pretty much an open book at this point. So I would think we'd have some uh, something similar tomorrow. Yeah. Coach, thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.